In computer science, canonicalization is a process for converting data that is more than one possible representation into a standard, normal, or canonical form. This can be done to compare different representations for equivalence, to count the number of distinct data structures, to improve the efficiency of various algorithms by eliminating repeated calculations, or to make it possible to impose a meaningful sorting order. Usage cases equals Web servers equals, canonicalization of file names is important for computer security. For example, a web server may have a restriction that only files under the CGI directory C, backslash and to put backslash root backslash CGI bin may be executed. This rule is enforced by checking that the path starts with C, backslash and to put backslash root backslash CGI bin backslash and only then executing it. While the file C, backslash and to put backslash root backslash CGI bin backslash 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 Windows backslash system 32 backslash CMD eggs initially appears to be in the CGI directory, it exploits the path specifier to traverse back up the directory hierarchy in an attempt to execute a file outside of CGI bin. Permitting CMD eggs to execute would be an error caused by a failure to canonicalize the file name to the simplest representation, C backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash cmdx, and is called a directory traversal vulnerability. With the path canonicalized, it is clear the file should not be executed. Equals Unicode equals, in Unicode, many accented letters can be represented in more than one way. For example a copyright can be represented in Unicode as the Unicode character U plus 0065 followed by the character U plus 0301, but it can also be represented as the precomposed character U plus 00E9. This makes string comparison more complicated, since every possible representation of a string containing such glyphs must be considered. To deal with this, Unicode provides the mechanism of canonical equivalence. In this context, canonicalization is Unicode normalization. Variable length encodings in the Unicode standard, in particular UTF-8, may cause an additional need for canonicalization in some situations. Namely, by the standard, in UTF-8 there is only one valid byte sequence for any Unicode character, but some byte sequences are invalid, i. e. cannot be obtained by encoding any string of Unicode characters into UTF-8. Some sloppy decoder implementations may accept invalid byte sequences as input and produce a valid Unicode character as output for such a sequence. If one uses such a decoder, some Unicode characters have effectively more than one corresponding byte sequence, the valid one and some invalid ones. This could lead to security issues similar to the one described in the previous section. Therefore, if one wants to apply some filter to UTF-8 strings that will later be passed to a decoder that allows invalid byte sequences, one should canonicalize the strings before passing them to the filter. In this context, canonicalization is the process of translating every string character to its single valid byte sequence. An alternative to canonicalization is to reject any strings containing invalid byte sequences. Equals search engines and SEO equals in web search and search engine optimization, URL canonicalization deals with web content that has more than one possible URL. Having multiple URLs for the same web content can cause problems for search engines, specifically in determining which URL should be shown in search results. Example, http wikipedia.com, http, www.wikipedia.com, http, www.wikipedia.com slash http www.wikipedia.com slash question mark source equal ASDF all of these URLs point to the home page of Wikipedia but a search engine will only consider one of them to be the canonical form of the URL equals XML equals a canonical XML document is by definition an XML document that is in XML canonical form defined by the canonical XML specification. Briefly, canonicalization removes white space within tags, uses particular character encodings, sorts namespace references and eliminates redundant ones, removes XML and doc type declarations, 
and transforms relative URIs into absolute URIs. A simple example would be the following two snippets of XML, data data, data data, the first example contains extra spaces in the closing tag of the first node. The second example, which has been canonicalized, has had these spaces removed. Note that only the spaces within the tags are removed under W3C canonicalization, not those between tags. A full summary of canonicalization changes is listed below. The document is encoded in UTF-8, line breaks normalized to XA on input, before parsing, attribute values are normalized, as if by a validating processor, character and parsed entity references are replaced, CDATA sections are replaced with their character content, the XML declaration and document type declaration are removed, empty elements are converted to start end tag pairs. White space outside of the document element and within start and end tags is normalized, all white space in character content is retained, attribute value delimiters are set to quotation marks, special characters in attribute values and character content are replaced by character references, superfluous namespace declarations are removed from each element, default attributes are added to each element, fix up of XML, base attributes is performed. Lexicographic order is imposed on the namespace declarations and attributes of each element. Equals computational linguistics equals, in morphology and lexicography, a lemma is the canonical form of a set of words. In English, for example, run, runs, ran and running are forms of the same lexeme, so we can elect one of them, x run, to represent all the forms. Lexical databases as unit x use this kind of representation. Lemmatization is the process to convert a word into its canonical form. Equals biological taxonomy equals. In zoological nomenclature, a type species is the species name with which the name of a genus or subgenus is considered to be permanently taxonomically associated, that is, the species that contains the biological type specimen, S, and is used as canonical type, or reference model to a genus. See also, canonical form, graph canonization, lemmatization, text normalization, type species. References External links, canonical XML version 1.0, W3C recommendation, OWASP security reference for canonicalization.